The Sunan and Adab of Eid, we all know them. I'm going to just add a little bit of a spiritual reminder. We all know that we're supposed to take ghusl and wear our good clothes and eat before Salat al Eid for Fitr and after for Al Adha. These are all Sunan that we do. But one point I want to add over here when we do this is that Allah Azza wa Jal tells us very explicitly that there is a spiritual concept to Eid as well. When Allah says in the Quran, so that you finish the days of Ramadan, and so that you say the takbirat because He has guided you. So what I want us to think of when we wear our finest garbs, put on our best clothes, put on some good perfume, when we are coming to Salat al-Eid, firstly, every family should be saying the takbirat in their car amongst themselves from their house. Now, some of the ulama say the takbirat of fitr began from the morning uh, of uh, uh, the, the, the Eid al-Fitr, and some uh, madhab say they began uh, from Salat al-Maghrib. However, just a technical point, this communal takbir that we do after Salat, this is for Eid al-Adha, just a technical point here. So personal takbirat, some madhab say, right now they begin until the Imam comes out, and other madhab say they begin from Fajr, and a third madhab Imam Malik said when you leave your house, either technical differences, all of them are correct, inshallah, no big deal. But the communal takbirat that we do as a group, this is for Eid al-Adha, because frankly that is the bigger Eid, Eid al-Akbar. This is alhamdulillah a great Eid, a good Eid, the Eid al-Adha is the bigger Eid, but this is Eid al-Fitr. So when we say the takbirat, please, Remember, you are saying them and tell your children this, that we are thanking Allah for every blessing He's given us. And remind your family, you are the responsibles in the end of the day. You are the people in charge, as the Prophet said, every one of you is a shepherd responsible for your flock. So remind your family of the blessings Allah has given you. Allahu Akbar, Allah has given us this blessed you know, wealth and health. Allahu Akbar, we are Muslims. Allahu Akbar, we have this blessing of being in the Ummah of the Prophet وسلم. Also, of course, the attendance of Eid, uh, the more stronger position is that it is Fard Ain. There is a little bit of a controversy. Some say it's Fard Kifaya. But between Fard Kifaya and Fard Ain, I mean, you have to come, right? So the community has to come. And it does seem that really it is an obligation on every single Muslim to come if they're able to do so. And so if you really uh, have a legitimate excuse, may Allah forgive. But otherwise, the default, everyone should come. And in fact, the Prophet ﷺ even said to the elderly ladies to come that, and the, you know, and the uh, uh, young ladies, all of them should come and attend. And generally, they were not encouraged to come for the daily salawat. But Eid, they were encouraged to come. And this shows us that Eid is a communal festival. So yes, we wear our best garments. But remember as well, brothers and sisters in particular, that walibasu taqwa dalika khair. Put on fine garments, but make sure they meet the requirements of the sharia. And remember, modesty and haya is something that befits our sisters. So all of this needs to be done as well. Also, the takbirat will continue. And the Prophet ﷺ would say takbirat. In fact, the city of Medina would be loud with takbirat. The markets would have takbirat. Ibn Abbas would be saying takbir as he's walking through the sukh on his way to the masjid. So the city of Medina would reverberate with takbirat and the takbirat continue. I have to say this is a sunnah that is neglected. We are silent until we come to the masjid. No, takbirat should be said by all madhabs from the time you leave your house. Some say from Fajr and some say from Maghrib of tonight. These are the three opinions, but takbirat should be frequently said out loud and especially in congregation with your family. When you're walking with your family, coming with your children, you should teach them the takbirat. As for the sigha or the wording of takbirat, many things have been reported. So whatever you say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, two times or three times, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, two or three times, walillahi alham, all of this is from the sunnah. It is authentically narrated. The Prophet would say these types of phrases. So, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alham, and some reports mentioned two times three, and some mentioned two and two, but the point is this, uh, uh, concept is there. Also, do not forget Zakatul Fitr. Ramadan has two obligations. Number one, the Siyam, 
Number two, a unique zakat. As for your regular zakat, it can be done at any time of the year. We as a habit usually do it in Ramadan, but there is no necessary linkage between regular zakat and Ramadan. But zakatul fitr, which is the second mandatory zakat, zakatul fitr, which is a very small $12 that we have, $12 amount, zakatul fitr is an obli obligation, and our Prophet ﷺ said, Allah has made it as a tuhr, as a means of purification for any shortcomings. If in this last 29 days, we said something we shouldn't have said, we looked at something we shouldn't have looked at, we became angry, we lost our temper. SubhanAllah, Allah has given us an exit, a solution. Allah has given us a salvage, a saving grace. Give this small amount, one amount for the whole month. What more do you want? One amount for the entire month. And it is an obligation on the entire family. Even those that are not fasting, you just give it on their behalf as well. So if you have some elderly people in the house, you have some children not fasting, you have some ladies with, with excuses not to fast, still you will give zakatul fitr. So 12 times the number and please give it before you go for uh, or you pray the Eid. Even if you walk into the masjid, at least give it in the box. The boxes will be outside. As long as you give it, of course, we're going to hand it out afterwards, but you've done your job in the sense you have handed it over to the wakil. Uh, that's us here at Epic. And our job is then to give it to the fuqara. If you can give it tonight, even better. But definitely zakat al-fitr is an obligation. It's not sunnah. It is something that is mandated. So these are some of the uh, sunan of uh, Eid. Final point. Eid and Jumu'ah combined. Not to get very technical in a nutshell, the majority opinion, this is the Malikis, the Shafi'is, and the Hanafis, is that you have to, you, there's both of them requirements. So you do Eid and then you do uh, Jumu'ah. The Hanbali position is that if Eid and Jumu'ah falls on the same day, then if you pray Salat al-Eid, then Jumu'ah becomes not mandatory. Fard Ayn is Fard Kifaya. And so if you pray Eid according to the Hanbali Madhab, if you pray Salat al-Eid, then you are not required to come back and you pray Dhuhr instead of Salat al-Jumu'ah. But the fact of the matter, that's only one of the madhab. So as you know, I always ask you to either follow the madhab you're comfortable with or ask the sheikh of your choice and follow that sheikh. So if you ask me personally, um, I will be giving both Eids, both Eid and Jumu'ah. But in my humble opinion, it's not obligatory to do both. This is my personal, because overall I'm generally of the Hanbali Madhab anyway. But in this case, I am also sympathetic because the evidence seems to suggest this. However, I am also very, um, as you were, tolerant of the Madhabs and respectful of the Madhabs. So whichever Madhab you follow and you want to stick to it, Hanafis and Shafi'is and Malikis, if you are living in the city, which all of you are, then you must pray Eid and Jumu'ah. So choose one of the Eids and choose one of the Jumu'ahs. If you are not bound to a madhab, if you trust an opinion, Ibn Taymiyyah and many scholars, Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal and others, they have evidence that would suggest that when they come together, then it's not fard ayn to do both. And if you did Salat al-Eid, then Jumu'ah becomes fard kifaya, means somebody has to do it. I have to do it. It's my job. People have to do it, but it's not obligatory on every individual. So the matter is up to you, inshallah ta'ala. If there's any other issues or questions, I'm here, inshallah. Other than that, barakallahu feekum, taqabbarallahu minna wa salih al-a'mal. And as we finish this month, and the month is finished, do not finish your worship of Allah and your ta'aluq with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will see you all tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. إن المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والقانتين والقانتات والصادقين والصادقات والصابرين والصابرات والخاشعين والخاشعات والخاشعين والخاشعات والمتصدقين والمتصدقات والصائمين والصائمات والحافظين فروجهم والحافظات والذاكرين الله كثيرا والذاكرات أعد الله لهم مغفرة وأجرا عظيما